again. Welcome back to the Movie Buff Reactions channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to the official second trailer for The Many Saints of Newark, the much anticipated prequel film to The Sopranos TV show. Did our reaction to the first trailer a few months ago, I think, and also did one with my buddy Alex Luchar, where it was mostly him, uh, giving his reaction and thoughts, because he's a huge Soprano fan too, and I'm really looking forward to seeing this film when it comes out, as I say my last reaction, and one thing we talked about, me and Alex, was the question of the trailer, the first trailer, if it was misleading uh, viewers by putting a lot of focus on Tony Soprano, because Everything I'd heard about this movie before the trailer came out was that Dickie Moltisante, Christopher Moltisante's father, who was dead before the events of the show, would be the main character because Tony always talked about how Dickie was um, his um, idol, his role model, person who taught him how to be a gangster, and the new poster just came out for the movie. It seems to put a lot of emphasis on that. So I'm curious to see what this trailer does, just who they put more emphasis on, Michael Gandolfini as the young Tony Soprano, or Alessandro Novella, hope I'm pronouncing that right, as Dickie Moltisante. See who the showcase motherfucker is. And without further ado, let's watch. Ray Liotta. <laughs> October 1st, gotta mark that day down and hope the Delta variant doesn't fuck things up for everybody. So that was the second trailer and I liked it, it was a lot of fun. Um, the first trailer had kind of, a, as Alex put it in our last reaction, kind of an old-time gangster movie feel. This has a more of a slightly modern feel in terms of style, but it was interesting. It was uh, kind of fun. Showed a bit more of Dicky, and I could be wrong, but I think the guy in the yellow shirt who said I just got this suit. I think that was Paul. And also, it was hilarious and cool to see a uh, big pussy appear again. It's kind of funny, the brief appearance by uh, baby Christopher. And looks like he was always a whiny little shit. 
And the part where Tony complained, saying, I'm always being accused. That felt like something Tony would say, like, as a younger person. The appearances of uh, John Bernthal as Tony's father. He didn't get much screen time in the last trailer, but the part where he's, like, ragging about Dickie, and that feels like the Johnny Boy character that we got in the original show. Kind of a hothead. And the synopsis I've read before the trailers even came out talked about how... The uh, race riots, racial tensions between the Italian and African American communities would be a big part, and it looks like we got a little bit of that in there, and curious to see how they go with that. That's one part that they haven't showcased yet in the two trailers, but yeah, I just uh, thought I'd react because did the first one, and I'm really anxious to see this movie. Hope it uh, doesn't disappoint, but. Hey, the Deadwood movie came out 13, 14 years after that show ended, and it was fucking glorious, so who knows? And they got David Chase and Lawrence Connor, one of the original staff writers, back, so it's not like they are going into it with people that don't know what they're doing with the material. Anyway, before I ramble on too much longer, I just want to mention Ray Liotta. It's cool to see more of him and the part where he says, What do I know? I'm a murderer. It was a pretty well-delivered line, and I checked uh, the Wikipedia page, and it looks like he he's also, his character is also named Maltesante, so I think that might be Dickie's dad, Christopher's grandfather, or maybe an uncle, but... It's cool to see more of him, and it looks like he, yeah, he's in prison, so really just to see what they do with Ray Liotta, if it's a big supporting role, or if it's just kind of a glorified cameo. Just I like Ray Liotta, he's a fun actor, so it'll be nice to go back into the universe of The Sopranos. Hope you enjoyed this reaction. If I seem a little off, it's because I haven't been getting much sleep lately, and I just got done editing all week on a big movie review that if you want to see is on my other YouTube channel, the Enter Myself. It's for the 2003 TV biopic, Rudy the Rudy Giuliani Story. A pretty uh, interesting film, to say the least, and... I had a lot of fun talking about it, so with that, I'll sign off and see you again soon.